Um, Makers really began about nine years ago when I went to Gloria Steinem and I asked her to do a film on her life and Gloria said, no, you can't tell the story of the women's movement through the story of one person. And so I went back to the drawing board and I thought, well, I went back to her and I said, well, what if we tell all the stories of the modern American women's movement? And I like to say that no turned into the best yes I've ever received, and that was really how they first began. Of course, Dylan talked to Gloria Steinem, who didn't want to make it all about herself, and said that there are these fabulous women out there who are constantly contributing, some famous, some not so famous. They're all makers. Let's tell this story. And Dylan started uh, online and on air with public media and partly with AOL. And today we have uh, this series, and we're looking forward to doing more. We're very impressed with Dylan McGee. I know her work. So she came to WETA to find out if we would be the presenting station, and we gladly agreed. We we're thrilled with the first project, and now this one is going to be equally successful. This is Dylan McGee, who is the founder and executive producer, came to our CEO, Tim Armstrong, said she had this amazing project and he said this has to be a much bigger project so makers.com actually launched in February 2012 a year before the first documentary in February 2013 on PBS and it started with a hundred groundbreaking women people like Hillary Clinton, Oprah Winfrey, Ellen DeGeneres and since then we have over 270 women on the site we have over 2700 videos and we're in the midst of launching six new films, as you know, and we're here tonight to premiere Women in Politics. So it's been an amazing journey and we're not slowing down. The, the Makers is our goal is to be the largest collection of women's stories ever assembled. And we want to shine a light on the stories that are known and the stories that are lesser known. So we've interviewed everyone from Oprah Winfrey and Ellen DeGeneres to the first female firefighter in New York City, Brenda Berkman and um, everyone in between. Listen, each topic is different. Tonight we're going to be screening women at war, and so I'm going to be talking about the variety of roles that women have played in the armed forces since the days of Vietnam. And unfortunately, clearly this is going to go on and on, but there are great opportunities for women to advance their careers while they're in the military. There's another program called Women in Business, and I have a friend who's interviewed in that one. But there are all sorts of topics, women in politics uh, as well. I think the amazing thing is that all of these women have so many, have accomplished so many different things, yet they all have something in common. I mean, there's a sense of perseverance, of rising beyond failure, and not taking no for an answer. I think people pick different paths, and as you look back, uh, you could say, I wish I had done this or that, but I think that the common theme among all of these women is they didn't seek to become famous. They looked at their environment, and they wanted to affect change, and sometimes it was a result of things happening to them. Working in a coal mine, not getting paid enough, not having proper safety measures in place. So in the process of working to make their own lives a little better for themselves and their families, uh, they got other people involved, and before you knew it, they were benefiting others. It always happens with an idea and a passion and commitment, and that attracts people to affect change. No, I think almost every area has been included, and I hope we'll have another year next year. I don't think we'll ever run out of topics. Our audience uh, spans all ages. Young women who really didn't know very much about the women's movement are attracted primarily because of the history, but really they stay to watch these compelling stories. And I think the, the underlying message is public media has been trusted for a long time to tell the stories of women uh, without a filter, not Photoshop, in all their glory, and very, very real. And we're really proud of that. But the history is so important to have. I think you need to look at the history. I think the, the whole, the first documentary we did documented the modern women's movement for the first time in television, which is pretty amazing to see. Um, it's been incredible to see the inspiration that has really taken action, caused action to take place, make an impact. I think the discovery element on Makers overall has been huge. The idea that you might come there for the known names, the stories you know, and stay to hear about the stories you didn't know and need to know. Um, when Ms. Magazine was founded, what I love is Gloria said they wanted a name that was short. 
and we wanted a name that was short and inclusive. We didn't want it to be necessarily branded with women because these are stories for everyone. And so we came up with the name Makers, Women Who Make America.